Hello everyone, my name is What. I will be your narrator. Today, we will be taking a look at level 7 of the backrooms, also known as substantial effluent. Classes. Safety, varying. Stability, stable. Geometry, normal. Danger level, mild. Hazards, occasional life form dangers. Environmental. Surreality class, 5. Nostalgia factor, 2. Population, 20. Chaos integrity, 10. Level 7 is the seventh level of the back rooms. Description. Level 7 appears as an expansive complex of various open areas resembling that of a sewer system. It features a zone of mostly concrete taking forms of wide, rectangular halls that are approximately 30 meters in height, but can occasionally change to be taller or shorter. The large open areas of this level are held up by thick, oblong pillars that divert into a cone shape upon connecting with the roof and floor. These pillars, along with the rest of the level, appear to be water damaged and can contain a variety of cracks along their structure, along with various stains of many kinds, such as mold, feces, and occasionally blood and vomit. On the floor of level 7, there is a constant stream of what appears to be distilled water, with a murky green coloration. This water goes up to approximately waist level for most people, and is slowly moving southward in the level. Despite this, it appears to lead nowhere in particular. Despite its sewer-like implications of level 7, the water appears to be free of bodily waste or debris and trash. However, this does not make the water drinkable, as it appears to have been contaminated by a bacteria titled 7-BCT-1, nicknamed sewage contamination. It is further expanded upon in its own page. The halls that make up the level are rather lengthy, and when they end, will never be a dead end, but will connect into either one or more hallways in an intersection. Intersection areas are above water, with the floor that the water submerges goes upwards in a ramp and creates a flooring where the hallways meet. Oddly, these parts will almost always contain some form of plumbing fixture, like a toilet, sink, or shower. These are somehow fully functional despite the fact that they lack electricity or piping. Because of the intersection's natures, it is possible for some portions of the level to be devoid of water on the ground, or having far less than expected instead a few inches tall, or simply just being puddles on the ground. These parts are easier to travel, but it may cause you to be caught in the level's event, as there is no water to base it off of. Along the sides of the aforementioned halls of the level, there are piers that appear to be concrete platforms that are suspended above the water of level 7 by about 7 feet. Due to their height, it is somewhat difficult to get on top of them, but there are occasionally steps or ladders found throughout the water to assist one in getting up. On these piers, it is fairly empty, with the most being found are a few crates and boxes, along with some tools for plumbing or cleaning. Sometimes, however, there can be stairwells found in these areas and mightn't lead to another level, but it leads to an even higher and different section of this level. Towards the ceiling, there is a metal platform attached to the wall on either sides of the tunnel. It contains a metal fence running along it, and has lights along the walls. Unlike the main part of level 7, the lights are consistently placed and are always white. These parts are relatively safe, but have passages that lead into side rooms that lack light and only contain bare pieces of metal furniture such as shelves, chairs, and occasionally pipes or breaker boxes. One should be wary of these places, as it is very common for life forms to be present within these rooms and platforms. Upon the ceiling of the level, there is a plethora of floodlights positioned randomly along it. These lights are both frequent and very randomized, with the coloration of the bulb appearing to constantly change from light to light usually appearing as white, orange, or occasionally dark, cold toned colors such as green or blue. The floodlights are prone to breaking, flickering, or just generally being faulty, with some rooms being completely stripped of natural light due to the lights bursting from an unknown cause. Despite this, the light levels of this level do appear to stay rather high due to how many lights there are. 
What is considered to be the biggest danger of level 7 is that of the ceiling of the level that can occasionally break for short periods of time. It will be very noticeable as there will be many gargantuan cracks along the ceiling and will make loud noises of creaking and cracking before breaking apart. What follows is essentially a waterfall of the same murky waters already present in level 7, but from an unknown source above the level. There appears to be nothing visible above the level. Whether it be a void or simply just too dark to see, water will continue to flow at a heavy rate for a while before the roof inconspicuously snaps back to be fixed renditions of itself, seamlessly. If you are not wary of this occurrence, getting caught in the ceiling collapse is a near death sentence, as it is very easy to be struck down or killed by the debris or drowned by the cascade of water. Along the pillars and walls of level 7, there are infrequent signs located throughout, appearing as white, rectangular, or nailed onto the walls. What lies on these signs is a phrase in black text followed by the term VAP, and a string of four numbers. What is odd about the signs is how the text on them will always differ in language from sign to sign, generally appearing as most widely known languages like English, Standard Chinese, Spanish, Latin, etc. Some of the text on these signs around the level are as follows. Water level at pump standstill. Release valve upon flow increase. Await water arrival. And many other things that seemingly correlate to the water in the level. The level is rather humid and damp due to its conditions, and is also rather warm, coming in at approximately 20 degrees Celsius. The level also reeks of a smell similar to acidic acid, more commonly known for the smell of vinegar with the source of said spell being unknown, but it soon be created from either the bacteria in the water or simply just the water itself. In level 7, there will always be distant sounds of machinery in rain, coming from an unknown point within the level. They appear to be muffled and aren't immediately comprehensible, simply just being a distant sound. The source of the sound itself is unknown, and doesn't appear to actually have one as attempting to reach the sound will never get you any closer. This level has become a temporary home for a few travelers, as the lower points of the level lack life forms, and far less threatening than the levels that surround it. They generally stay along the piers of the level and the intersection platforms. History As one would assume, level 7 was found after level 6, but it took a noticeably longer time than the levels surrounding it. Due to level 6's difficult to traverse environment, and it was initially rather popular for level explorers, as it was a fairly safe level and became a rendezvous point for those trying to find more levels past it. It was also discovered fairly quickly that the waters were contaminated by 7-BCT-1, thus prompting a large warning sign to be present in the first rendition of Level 7's article. The discovery of this level also prompted a search for a similar easier way to enter the level that didn't involve Level 6 in any way and was initially considered a failed search for a few months, before the second and more utilized entrance was found in level 2. Objects As stated earlier, on the piers of level 7, there are boxes. These boxes come in many different sizes and shapes, and types, such as cardboard, wooden, metal, and various other types. These generally don't contain much other than having things such as cleaning products, mops, nuts and bolts, and other things like that. But many also contain useful items such as crowbars, wrenches, and database resigned objects such as almond water or energy bars. The bacteria located within level 7 are actually weaponized by some via the back room's survivalist bottle conducting a deadly fluid within it by mixing many different liquids such as 7-BCT-1 and some other dangerous liquids. They would mix it together before putting it within the bottle to mass produce it, then use it as means of attacking both people and life forms alike. Events At completely random intervals, it is possible for the waters of the level to begin to flood more and more until it almost reaches the higher floors of the environment for periods of time. It is unknown as to why this happens, as the event of the ceiling breaking does not have a level-wide effect on the water levels, so it is assumed that this happens unprompted. It is possible to predict when this is going to happen, however, 
as approximately 10 minutes before it happens, as the water on the levels will recede from around a waist level to around knee level. So, when this happens, it is advised to get to high ground quickly. Machinery While infrequent, there are pieces of machinery known to exist in level 7, and there is some theorized machinery. First of all, there is the omnipresent machinery sounds somewhere within the level, as stated earlier. There is no known source. It is theorized to be located at the exact center of the level, wherever that may be. Of course, the lights are electric powered via some wire system somewhere within the ceiling, and it is unknown where all these wires go. These two pieces of information have made some to believe that there is a large powerful machine that serves some purpose that controls and affects level 7, locked away within the depths of the level. This would also give some form of explanation to the water moving without any reason, as it could very well be affecting the tides of the level in some way. Accessibility Methods Entrances Within the darkness of level 6, finding a lone light source at the end of a hall will transport you here. Secondly, while rather difficult, a safer way of entering this level is via level 2. There are some extremely obscure, claustrophobic passages around the roof of the level, and crawling through them will always lead to a higher portion of level 7. Exits Occasionally, large open super grates can be found that will drop one into level 8. Alternatively, in the higher parts of level 7, you can really find doors that will lead you into earlier levels such as level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 4.